Well, I'll give you the real story and 100% honest story. If, when he was a 15-year-old to 20, I liked him a lot, knew him really well. He was a young camper while I was a counselor, and then he was a counselor when I was a coach at the Five Star Basketball Camp. And he was a basketball junkie. Every station I taught, he would come to. Every, every clinic I would give, he would be there. And, and got to know him and really liked him as a, as a young, young man. From that point, then I was on a, 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 um, a, um, a board at Massachusetts to name him the coach. And I was very happy that he took over at my alma mater. There was a, a, a 20 year period where I, I really didn't pay too much attention to what he was doing or what he wasn't doing. Not until he went to Memphis did we become competitors. Okay, even, even though at, at Massachusetts, I was so delighted what he did. And I always say this, he's one of three coaches to me that have done the most remarkable job building a program, taking it from nothing to number one in the country. Jim Calhoun at Connecticut, John Calipari at Massachusetts, and Jerry Tarkanian at Las Vegas, with basically no tradition of those schools taking them to number one. But really, not until he came to Memphis did we become competitors, even though we played against each other in a Final Four. Then it was, hey, now it meant all league, we had to win. So we became competitors. But always have liked him, always have liked him, always more important than liking him, because who am I to like anybody of nobody cares. Always respected him as a basketball teacher of the game. Now I got even added, uh, I've got an added respect for him because he's doing it at a place that's very difficult to do. And he's the perfect guy to do it at that place because you got to like, you got to love the spotlight. You got to love the technology of it all. And he loves the technology. So he's a perfect guy for that job. And he's doing it with young people. And it's very difficult to do it with young guys, to mesh them into a unit, to get them to play good defense, to get them to play unselfish offense, and he's doing it. So I've got a, a renewed respect. I've always respected his abilities, but I've got a renewed respect for doing it with young people. So I do like him. I do respect him. And um, are we competitors? Of course. It's Louisville, Kentucky. No different than North Carolina Duke. No different than the Red Sox Yankees. It's, um, it's, we're all trying to win. Never was there a game to me as the Kentucky coach or the Louisville coach that was meaningful, really meaningful, except last year, because they took away the national championship from us. So the, all the other games really had no meaning. I never, th I can never, except for Samaki Walker getting a triple double against us, there's not really a game that sticks out for me in all those years, except for that game, uh, because I remember it so many times in the timeout, stop driving on that guy. So it's, uh, but last year, it, it meant an awful lot. It was the first time in, in, for me in my personal history of coaching where the game really meant something.